So, um, seems like people are interested in, in my Electrolumens um, Fire Sword version 5. This one was one of those that was handled up by two Google employees. Um, it's a very nice flashlight. Um, you can see some very nice, very sturdy heat sink on it. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Um, I believe there four MC Cree MCDs or MCEs um, each little LED has four cores in it and each core is driven um, individually um, right here in the black you can see there's a little jumper you move that you switch around between a thousand lumens approximately to 3,000 lumens. And now that the camera decided to focus properly, you can really see each core in, in the LED. It's a fairly heavy flashlight. Um, and it would make a pretty good defense weapon. Um, let's see here. Threading is very nicely made. <clears throat> All but the end is anodized. It takes four of these lithium ion 18650 batteries. Um, Electrolumens were recommending the Tenergy one, so that's what we got. These here, I believe, are, they do have the little PCB board in it that protects it from overcharge and under discharge. Uh, I cannot see, yeah, it's a 26, 2600 milliamps. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good battery. Um, flashlight cells have an O-ring that makes it close tight. Uh, as you can see the tube is out of aluminum and it is a heavy gauge stuff. This thing here will take a beating and not and not break in any way. Um, you've got some nice knurling on it. Some caution advice. It gets hot. The PCB itself has a thermal um, cutoff in it, so if it accidentally turns on in your backpack, you're not going to set it on fire. Because uh, at 85 degrees Celsius approximately, it's going to turn off the light by itself. I, I find that is a, a very cool feature. Because um, this thing will get hot, it will get very hot, especially if you got it in a backpack or such. It's it's very likely that it could set fire to something. The switch is very simple. You can see there's there's just the threads in here, and that's it. And here's the switch. It is just a piece of aluminum, a spring, and an O-ring. Again, very simple, but capable of flowing a lot of current. But there's no, you can't change mode, you can't do anything fancy with it. This is an on or off switch. You gotta make sure that your batteries um, all from the same manufacturer and rated the same way otherwise you'll have a lipo that will go um, that might die before the others and that will basically ruin the battery so you can see the switch um, it's not been anodized on the bottom side of it just as the tube has not been anodized 
Um, I suppose that is to make good contact. And there are the old ring grips. I should have given it a little bit of grease. But you turn the flashlight on simply by twisting the tail cap. Or you can depress the button. But as soon as you let go, So, if you want to signal something, that's what the button is for. Otherwise, you got to twist the tail cap until it makes a good connection and, and will light up. For comparison, I got this Fantifier. Um, it's the STL V2. It's a cheap one from Deal Extreme. Um, it's running 3 Cree XML. Um, they're rated at approximately a thousand lumen each, but the circuitry in the flashlight um, does not have the power to, to run them uh, at full capacity. So, what you're getting is a flashlight with about 2,000, 2,300 lumens. Um, even on the body here, it is written that it's it's just a thousand lumens it says, but it's it's way more. This one too has heatsink and an attack bezel. Takes two of the same ten energy batteries. I'm threading everything is done nicely. But were you to use this as a defensive weapon, you can see the thin walled aluminum here. Um, the flashlight is likely to, to be damaged in, in the process, whereas the fire sword, um, I don't think there would be anything hindering you. But the Fandy Fire, um, despite its bad name, is actually a great flashlight. It's very bright. It's cheap. I got it from Deal Extreme for $35 shipped. As with a lot of these flashlights, they come with several modes, including the useless SOS and the useless strobe light. Um, but it runs pretty long as long as you're not running it at full power it will actually run for several hours so if you're just looking for a lot of light for a little money the fandy fire is the way to go if you are say a police officer and you want something that can be used as a defensive weapon then the fire sword is definitely the way to go. It's strong, it's very well built, um, have little parts or electronics that can go wrong. And um, that's about it.